Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Craig Peters. I'm an Ormsby artist and I also play in the bands Deeds of Flesh and Destroying the Devoid. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the new Ormsby Hype GTI model. I'm going to be talking about the one that I have, which is the seven string version. We're going to be talking about some of the different specs, playing through some examples and giving you a little bit of an overview of what you can expect when you get this guitar. So one of the first things you'll notice when you look at this guitar is that it's got an Evertune bridge and it's multi-scale, which is really awesome. And one of the things that I really love about this guitar is the Evertune bridge because it keeps everything in perfect tune and really is an ideal guitar for live or playing in the studio. So when first getting a guitar with an Evertune bridge, it can be a little bit daunting at first, but once you understand the zone systems and the way it works, it's really not too difficult. Uh, one of the first things that you will notice is that you will be tuning the guitar down here at the bridge and pretty much using the tuners up here as a way of setting the tension and getting yourself into different zones. So with the three different zones, you have zone one, which is where the saddle's not gonna be active. Zone two is pretty much where you're gonna do all of your adjusting and tuning. And then zone three is where you're gonna be able to do all of your different bends and so forth. So right now it's pretty much like almost at zone three. So if I'm doing any vibrato, you're not gonna hear any sort of fluctuation in pitch, which can be ideal, especially if you're doing a recording and you're recording rhythms and you really don't want any sort of pitch fluctuations at all. Maybe if you play, sometimes you might accidentally bend notes and could put some of them out of tune. So if you really want some perfect intonation, you're gonna pretty much wanna stay in zone two. But if you're doing any kind of lead playing and bend work and stuff like that, you're gonna wanna be just a hair out of zone three. So if I take this G string, So right now you can hear the pitch starting to go up a little bit. So basically what you wanna do is just back it up to where you were before. Just right there. So now. So one of the other big benefits of having the Evertune bridge is that each saddle for each string has their own individual setup. So it's really cool because you can set it up to where you can have the bottom three strings to where you can bend into zone three and the rest you can have in zone two to where they don't bend. So you can always have perfect intonation when it comes to rhythm playing and recording. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, this guitar is multi-scale. So you have 25 and a half up here and 26.2 up top. It's got an ebony neck and 24 frets. The neck type of this guitar is a set neck and it's got a black stained neck on the exotic models. For the exotic GTI multi-scale models, the colors are Dahlia Black, Sophia Blue, Red Dead, and Walnut. The body of this guitar is alder with a poplar burl color veneer and a 45 millimeter thickness. This guitar has jumbo stainless steel frets as well as mother of pearl dots in a Z pattern and glow in the dark side dots. Which is really cool, especially if you're playing on a dimly lit stage and you want to be able to see the side dots of your guitar, having that glow in the dark feature is really handy. For the pickups on this guitar, it's made by Ormsby as well. We have a Blizzard ceramic humbucker for the bridge and a Concordia for the neck. You also have a push pull as well. So let's just go ahead and check out some rhythm tones with the bridge. <laughs> And then we got the third selector. This guitar also has a volume and a tone knob and on the tone knob it has a push pull. So if you pull this, you can get a little bit of a different tone out of it. This guitar has the Dahlia black finish and one of the things I think really kind of puts it over the top and gives it that nice pop is the white binding on the outside of this guitar. I've always been a huge fan of white bindings and I think this is a really perfect addition to the look of this guitar. 
The next shape of this guitar is a D shape with a 21.5 at the 1st fret and 23 at the 17th fret. This guitar also includes Ormsby locking machine heads which is great for string changing and keeping things in tune. This guitar also includes a satin semi-matte finish which looks really nice and really has a nice classy look to it. Alright, so now let's go ahead and check out some different sound examples with this guitar. For all these tones, I'm going to be using my Kemper Profiler. Right now I have a lead sound loaded up, so let's go ahead and check this out. <laughs> So to wrap things up, my thoughts on this guitar is it's a great guitar from top to bottom. It plays awesome, it has a great look, and with the Evertune bridge you can't go wrong because when it comes to studio or live playing you're always going to be in tune. The stock of these guitars will be available on the Ormsby website as well as select dealers throughout Europe, and unlike the GTR guitar range, the GTI models will be restocked every few months. Alright, so that about wraps up this overview for the Ormsby Hype GTI. If you want to learn more about this guitar or any of the other guitars that Ormsby offers, make sure to head over to their website. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more cool videos in the future, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.